Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation. Zogar is 115 speaking. Let me welcome you for the final time, the third time in Chambers of Tulun. We are just back from our brief dip into the trenches, where we have found the second mysterious ingredient allowing us to upgrade our bike, as per my advice and Sergeant Aziza's advice. So, as a disclaimer, without the upgrade, this is as far as you'll get, right? Using the bike. However, with the upgrade, you know what? I'm gonna do this ceremoniously, simply because I can. Let's set it up first. Lara, I said set it up, not plunge into death. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's do it like this. Okay. Oof, close call. Okay, can you not slip and die? Thank you. So, uh, we're gonna combine the wolf pipe from the trenches, uh, the destroyed jeep, and the nitrous oxide canister from the Citadel Gate destroyed ambulance together, because, you know, no. using them individually on no. the bike does nothing, which especially if you find the nitrous oxide canister and you go ahead and upgrade your bike and Lara says no, you're like, what the earth am I doing wrong? You're doing nothing wrong. You need an extra tubing from one particular jeep in the entire game. Don't think about it too hard because you're just gonna hurt yourself. Instead, let's combine them and now it's a nitrous oxide feeder, not just a canister. And this is what you can use. Uh, pressing the control key next to the bike doesn't do the trick. Of course, Lara will just start using it. Instead, you need to manually summon it up in inventory. And now, if you hold the sprint key, makes all the difference. Ooh, careful about taking damage, but we did this without it. Nicely done. Now let's leave the uh, the bike parked here. That's fine. And get our shotgun ready, because there be enemies abound. Okay, not much of a threat though. <laughs> all right. So yeah, these are the, sort of the remaining enemies in Chambers of Tomb. We're gonna mop up again. Uh, you shouldn't be bothered by the mechanical minotaur even here because he'll never make it across that artificial step over there, so that bare area is sealed off. Or if you kill him like I did, you have literally nothing to worry about. Okay, now this is an interesting area. A lot of these doors. Now I briefly explained what we actually have to do here in uh, during our first visit, but these doors will open as soon as you trigger the fire alarm. What you have to do is walk away here with a burning torch and trick it into thinking there's an actual fire. The reason what you want to do it is to open up all these emergencies door and one of them will lead into a lever which triggers a conveyor belt from here leading into this room. Now the reason you want to do that is to allow it to drop a crate from over there to over here to allow you to climb it and make the jump across over there because in that brief storage you will find a key to the door we encountered in the trenches level that uh, you can bypass very easily as I've shown you. So again, this is purely optional. If you are not interested in some meager goodies and uh, getting those extra kills, you can pretty much just do what I did in that video and continue on with the game. First of all, I dropped the torch intentionally because there is a third soldier. Okay, I think he managed to fire off a grenade, but the grenade just disappeared. Uh, fine by me, I don't mind. Uh, okay. We need to pick up the torch again. I think it was at the top of this slope. Ah, there we go. Perfect. By the way, the torch really reminds me of those in Gothic 1, if you still remember those. That you could also light when interacting with other torches. And it would permanently change into a slightly singed one in your inventory. It was just cute like that. Okay. And there we go. Remember, there would have been an enemy if we didn't kill him during our first visit into the chambers of Tulun. We actually used this ladder to get here and then climb all the way back up, right? So again, if you haven't done that, uh, you will encounter that enemy here, which, you know, is actually more efficient, but, you know, uh, that's not how I do things. <laughs> Plus, I talk a lot. Okay, so, and this mysterious door over here, you know, I was always wondering what's behind it. Uh, it's gonna finally open, along with a few others, if you trigger the fire alarm system with the burning torch. And that's really the only reason you have this torch in the first place. So, press the action key. I was so proud when as a kid I figured this out. I remember this is one of those few things in Tomb Raider 4 just out of desperation I encountered. Now, just to show you that I'm, you know, not tricking you anything like that, before we head through that door and continue, 
uh, yeah, this would have been the perfect secret to remember this door. But alas, nothing. It was not meant to be. Yeah, this is frustrating. Again, I feel like this should have been something, some sort of surprise or some nice view, if not a secret. If you think we are getting too many goodies as it is, maybe not even a secret, just a pickup. I don't care, some acknowledgement of exploration, really. That's mostly what these pickups are, you know. It's not as much about the actual use I get out of them as the acknowledgement that I explored part of the level. But anyway, level, lever, what's the difference? Just push it and you will trigger the conveyor belt. And this will exactly give us the boost we need to make it across. Uh, okay, and that's how we can leave and get to the bike. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But first things first, let's get our hands on that key. So yeah, this will pretty much wrap up the Chambers of Tulun, the central hub. Oh, and what I also didn't mention, now that we have the upgraded bike, as you have seen, when we made that boosted jump, you can go back to the City of the Dead, the very first level of Cairo, and get your hands on that second secret in case you had difficulties getting it without it, right? Oh, I love this place! <sighs> so many boxes to break, and especially with one shot, always more satisfying. So small health pack, uh, just normal arrows, you know, nothing impressive. This one cannot be destroyed. It's just made out of sturdier stuff. These two can. And this small one especially. Oh, but we are on a step. We need to do it like this. Okay, great stuff. I think white shots? Ah, my memory serves me well. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and this is another crate that cannot be broken. Yeah, there are two metal ones that you can't do anything with. Even explosives don't work. But more importantly, behind this padlock is the key we are after. So, uh, in case you by any chance, you know, played the very first level of Tomb Raider 5, you already know what to do. There is a similar, actually, I think identical padlock like that. But you don't need a revolver to, you know, break it apart. Somehow, miraculously, even the arrows will work. Okay, wait a sec. That's not how I remember it. Hold on a sec. The arrows always worked. What is this treachery? Uh, oh, the, the. You know what? I'm not even going to try and explain what just happened. Just make of that what you will. Just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That happened, apparently. Okay. Whew. Well, uh, yeah. We lost about 10 of these, but come on. We have so ridiculously many. So, what is this thing called? <laughs> <laughs> the roof key. Well, that tells you everything you need to know, right? Nah, I will tell you what you need to know. So yeah, can't trust this game. It's just a very, very naughty game. Nah, okay. <laughs> okay, and since that slope is slippery, up this ramp we go. Less slippery. We can actually go up. Up, up, up. And we are gonna get our hands back on the bike. And we will have completely wrapped up our business in the chambers of Tulun. Now, if by any chance you end up down there without the bike, you can use that gap underneath Lara's feet to re-enter this entire area and reach this door again from the inside to get your hands on the bike. Yeah, it happens to me, you know, when with certain dose of enthusiasm I just get out and then I remember, oh, wait, this is where we parked our bike. Yeah, up here, not down there as usual. Okay, no need for a boosted jump, you take some minor damage. And that's about it. So say farewell to Chambers of Tulun and the City of Dead. We're never gonna see those two levels again, and we are well over half of our Cairo adventure. So let me bring up the statistics screen. This was the third visit into the Chambers of Toon, and by now we have found all 15 items. Mind you, I do count the torches as one pickup, even if you pick them up multiple times. Uh, even though they don't go to inventory, I think still it's an important one. And we have killed all 11 enemies, including the Mechanical Minotaur during the first visit. If you don't want to do it and you consider it an exploit or a glitch, then you will be able to kill at least 10 enemies. And we have found uh, during our first visit also the two secrets. So we pretty much just cooked up three kills and five items in this third and final visit for our optional key item. Let me make a save here. This is our refreshed list, so to speak. All my saves are of course backed up, so I'm going to override the first one. And I will see you guys next time, again very briefly, but even though we're not going to find any items or kill any enemies or secrets, uh, very important stuff is gonna happen in the trenches, so I'll see you there.